Hi, this is Mark with Athlete College Advisors, and today we are continuing our educational video series on the college recruiting process. Just a reminder, you can reach out to ACA for a free 30-minute consultation if you have any questions after watching today's video. Today's topic is the recruiting process, six ways parents can help. Let's get right into it. The first way you can help is to be your child's communication coach. As we preached last week, your child needs to communicate with college coaches, not you. However, this can be a valuable time to help your child learn to communicate with adults. It's great to help them practice phone, email, and face-to-face -face conversations, but then you need to encourage them to handle all communications with college coaches themselves. Two, be realistic. Not everyone is a Division I player, but everyone thinks that they are. So how do you know what level your child can play at? Honest feedback. Find a high school or club coach that is familiar with the college game and have them give it to you straight about what level your son or daughter can play at. And don't let them sugarcoat it. Getting honest feedback will allow you to find the best fit school for your child, which is what the college search process is all about. Number three, stay on top of your child's academics. The better your child's academics, the more athletic opportunities he or she will have. It's as simple as that. Balancing academics and athletics can be tough, but making academics a priority is crucial. As we mentioned in our last video, academic scholarships are more prevalent than athletic scholarships. Just a small increase in GPA, SAT, or ACT will save your family thousands of dollars in the long run. And number four, find the right fit. College is more than just athletics. College size, location, and major are all extremely important. Ask your child, would you feel comfortable at this school even if you couldn't play here? If the answer is no, then the school is probably not the best fit. Number five, don't be a helicopter parent. We've all been guilty of this at some point or another, but it's important to fight the urge to micromanage your son or daughter during this process. College will be a time where your son or daughter will grow and mature significantly, but not if you do not give them room to do so. So support and courage, but don't hover. And then finally, number six, have a written plan. There is so much research that shows the importance of written plans when achieving goals. The same is true for the goal of playing college sports. Put a simple brief plan down in writing and follow it. Setting clear expectations and making sure that you and your child are on the same page will pay dividends in the long run. That's all for today. Hopefully you learned something new. Our next video will be five keys to a great student athlete resume. See you then.